Hello and welcome to my take on the 52 frames challenge. I'm Johnny and our theme this week is hello from dot dot dot. I love this one. It's giving us some clear direction while still allowing for quite a bit of variance according to how you think and of course where you are in the world. Now having traveled quite a bit myself in the last year, I couldn't help but wonder what would I have done if I were somewhere else. But I'm not. I'm here in my home base in London, so I guess I just had to do the Dragon and Arid Pass or something. Seriously though, there are so many things that would work so well for London. You can do Big Ben or the Houses of Parliament or the Palace Guards or the Queen's Waving Bobbleheads or maybe a pub, a Sunday roast, full English breakfast, a tea room. We are spoiled for choice here. So what did I do? Well, I went for a walk by the Thames. I've said before that I love sunsets, so thereabouts would have to be the hour. And I love the sea, so a well-known river would have to do. And I tried to suit things that you might recognize, like London Bridge and the Sard. But soon enough, I realized that I really wanted that vantage point sod. So I got in the Sard, up the Sard, and there were so many people, you guys, it was nuts. You really need to go in with a group of friends so they can form a perimeter for you and scream as you try to take your shot. Even braving it alone, I did manage to get a few shots, including this one, which is kinda the one I expected to get, the Tower Bridge, HMS Belfast, and even, bonus, the Blood Moon, the Super Blood Wolf Super Full Moon. The annoying thing with tall buildings like the Sard is that you have to take your photos behind protective glass because they're afraid that without one people will be falling to their deaths. That's understandable I guess as a security measure but unfortunate from a photography standpoint as you're constantly fighting against the reflections that keep appearing all over the place. The healing brass did save me on that shot but not on this one which came out quite clean. Westwards down the river are more sunset colors, St. Paul's Cathedral looking glorious, and a bit of the London Eye, let's call it a London Wink. Huh? This is the one I ended up submitting, and I think it's still my favorite. The previous one I showed, along with this one, taken a bit later, are strong contenders as well. I like how I got the boat in a nice place down the river there, but in the end, I'm all about the sunset colors. The bonus challenge for this week is 16mm or wider, which makes me wonder how many people actually have the gear to go for it. I didn't, and since I only recently got this camera and this 24mm, I couldn't even justify even renting a lens that's even wider, that'd be too much of an indulgence, and I do want to travel a bit this year as well. And on that note, that's all for this week. Thanks a bunch for watching and see you around. And even unexpected bonus, the Super Blood Wolf Full Moon. Is that the name? That's quite a mouthful.